I just got out of my haircut. Get a little baby, she be going crazy. She rock me like my Mercedes, something like the '80s. She just wanna taste me. She gon' bite that thing up, and then she gon' face me. She says she ain't like these other bitches, just so crazy. She says what I like. Hello you guys, what is up? So I really want to get myself back into a routine. So we're gonna do all the healthy things together today. But first off, right now I'm leaving to go get a haircut. I'm running a tiny bit late, so I really gotta go. I'm just trying to do this quickly in case I don't have time to vlog before I get in there. But I'm going to get a haircut because my hair has like the dead ends are just like miserable right now And I need about like two inches cut off. I would say I don't know I want to try to keep it to two inches and then I want to get like face framing layers So we're doing a little haircut. I'm actually so excited. I haven't gotten my hair done slash cut in like six months So I never spend money on my hair So this doesn't make me feel bad or anything because I know like I deserve it and I haven't spent any money on my hair in like literally six months so i don't really care at this point but i'm so excited to get a cut it's just up in a bun right now because it looks so disgusting it's so greasy right now it's actually gross but yeah this is the comfy fit i decided just to be comfy we're going to be running a couple errands these are from white box um, my shoes are the ugly slippers um this is from h&m i showed you guys in my last video and then this purse is thrifted the one that i literally wear every day um but yeah i will update you guys and i'm just so excited to get my I just got out of my haircut and I am so obsessed. I got all my dead ends off. If you guys can't tell, my hair is so freaking healthy. It feels so good. I haven't gotten a cut in, I think I already calculated it. I think I said like six months, but it was a well needed cut. I think she cut about like three inches, two inches, not really sure. But I am obsessed with this length as well. And I love how the ends are really thick. It just gives me help so i tried this new place it's called m hair and if you guys live in the greater vancouver area it's in langley and i went to the most amazing um hairstylist we had the best conversation and she was just so freaking nice and i'm gonna go back to her every single time i need a haircut um i literally love her her name is sarah at m hair um i'll put her instagram on the screen so if you guys live in the area you should definitely go check her out she's so good and so freaking nice and if you go to her let her know that i referred you because that would be cute but anyways now i'm not gonna stop touching it because i'm so obsessed it just you know when you get a fresh haircut it just feels so healthy i miss this feeling i was just at the point where i just couldn't handle my split ends anymore and you guys probably didn't notice um but trust me they're so freaking bad she was like yeah they're really crusty so happy those are gone and i just feel so freaking healthy i also got the face face framing pieces like really long just because since it was shorter i kind of just wanted it to be more just like blunts you know what i mean but anyways um yeah i just asked for a blunt cut with like really long face framing pieces but yeah i'm actually obsessed and now we're gonna go do some errands i definitely need to go grocery shopping i'm just gonna get like fresh produce and some stuff for dinner and then i want to potentially go to costco and then after that i just want to go home i want to do my meditation kind of like get back in the grind of things because i haven't like done my meditation in a while and everything i'll talk about that more later but i'm so happy i'll keep you guys updated while we get back into our routine i even like made a smoothie this morning I have a bit left because I have to get a COVID test done today for the movie industry and then I'm also going to stop at Costco afterwards but I thought that I would just bring the groceries home right now so I can put them in the fridge um, because I had meat and just like veggies I want to throw in the fridge so I didn't really want that sitting in my car while I'm doing Costco and the COVID test because I don't know how long that's going to take me so I just stopped at home for now. We're just probably gonna be here for like 20 minutes. I'm just gonna give you guys a grocery haul. 
um, and then I'm going to pack everything in the fridge and then go out again. And then I want to get my meditation done, maybe even do a little bit of a workout, we'll see. But the sun came out, I'm so happy because when I was driving to the hairdressers in the morning, it was like pouring rain and now it's sunny. So the weather's been really bipolar here, but at least it's sunny now. So here is an overview on what I got. As you can see, I did get a lot of produce just because we were really lacking that and I just want to start eating more healthy and getting back into my healthy routine because I've kind of been out of it, honestly, and I just can't wait to get back on track and just figure out like what healthy meals are easy to make. And um, yeah, it's honestly all a learning process moving out on your own. And I just wanna try to start now getting back into my healthy eating habits while also still having a balance. Like you guys have seen me eat unhealthy before, but honestly having a balance in your life is key. So anyways, first off, I got these colorful carrots and I am so excited about these. I've never tried um, colorful carrots before, but I've seen them and I've always wanted to try them So I'm so excited. I got two of these. I think they're called Asian pears I'm not 100% sure, but it's basically like a pear and an apple mixed together and they're so freaking yummy So I got two of those I also got just two apples because I didn't want to overbuy and then things get rotten So I just kind of got a variety, but I just got a little bit of each um, I got a watermelon a mini watermelon haven't had that in a while. I got some broccoli got some bok choy I love bok choy. My dad used to make it. I got green beans. I got celery um, two peppers two mangoes a tomato joel doesn't like tomatoes so i never really buy more than one or else i know it's gonna go bad in the fridge i got these really good panini things when i see this type of bread i think of a panini but i'm not exactly sure what this type of bread is called but it smells so good so i'm really excited to eat one of these and also this would be good to make like a sandwich or something and then i went to meridian meats um, going forward buying meat i think i'm gonna stick to going to meridian to buy it just because meridian's meat is grass-fed and it doesn't have like any antibiotics i know that when you eat meat with antibiotics and stuff like that it can be more harmful to your body obviously to each their own but i want to start eating more better quality meat just to feel a little bit better about eating meat so i got this lemon herb cod I got chicken cordon bleu and then I got honey garlic chicken wings. So these can be really easy dinners if I just like cook the fish, the cordon bleus or the honey garlic wings. I add a vegetable, bok choy, green beans, whatever it is, broccoli. And then I just cook rice on the side. Like that's a super easy um, dinner that I can do really quick. That was what I was thinking for that. And then I got cheddar bacon potato pierogies. So we're gonna see how these are because Joel's mom makes really good pierogies and we haven't been able to find anything similar. And I saw this brand and I've never tried it before and I just love pierogies. So we'll see how these are. So yeah, that's the little grocery overhaul and I'm just gonna put it all the way now. I just put everything away and I just wanted to show you guys this fruit bowl before I left because it's so freaking cute. I think I'm going to be doing this every week, like just buying a couple of random fruits and just putting them in here because whenever I'm feeling like a snack but I want it to be healthy, I can just pick a fruit and we're good to go. I didn't even intend for this to be a fruit bowl, but it just kind of happens. I honestly think it is meant to be a fruit bowl, but I didn't even buy it for that. Anyways, <laughs> I do need to get more bananas though but this one's still hanging on. Anyways, I'm just obsessed with this. Okay, I just made it to my COVID test. I'm just gonna go walk and do that now. I'm so happy it's sunny. This haircut is just making me feel so fresh. Like, I'm not kidding you. Getting a haircut and chopping off your dead ends is like the best feeling ever. Like, I just can't believe why I didn't. Every time I let my hair grow out and like get split ends and then I get a cut, I'm like, why the hell did I wait this long to do it? Like, please tell me why. I don't understand myself. But then it just gets to a point where I'm like, I need to cut it tomorrow. Like, I literally booked this hair appointment yesterday because I couldn't handle my hair anymore. I was like, this has to get cut off. Anyways, let's go do the test. And then we get to go to Costco. <laughs> from getting the test and 
Costco and I got a Sephora package. So I'm going to unbox it for you guys. I really just love getting Sephora packages. It's just it's just great they were having a little sale so that's why i actually ordered i think it was like 10 percent off plus like something else i don't even remember anyways so the first thing that i randomly put in my cart because this was 30 percent off and this is just a scalp massager so basically um if you guys saw like one of my last vlogs where i put like the rosemary in my hair so i bought this so that when i have that in my hair I can give my head a nice scalp massage with it because when you massage your scalp it stimulates hair growth and everything and it's just like good for it so i bought this so i can do that and a lot of people use something like this even when they're like putting shampoo in their hair they'll like use something like this to just like really get it in there and spread it around the next thing i got is just this sephora garden party sponge set and look it's like a little cute garden colors um i just really really desperately needed a new beauty blender and so the set was 30 percent off so it was like a really good price for two so excited about this because my other one is nasty this is your sign if you guys have a nasty beauty blender to go buy yourself a new one because you don't want that icky bacteria on your skin the thing i got is this it cosmetics bye bye redness in the shade porcelain beige so this is a product that is kind of like a really light concealer slash cream and it literally gets rid of redness so if you guys have like eczema on your skin i kind of got this for if i have like an eczema flare-up or like a really red pimple it cancels completely cancels out the redness there's like if you go on their website to read the reviews there's pictures of like these people who have like really bad like rosacea all over their face and they put that cream on and you wouldn't even be able to tell their face is red like this cream is unbelievable i mean i've never tried it myself but like i've seen people use it and it just looks so unbelievable it is a pretty like the price is pretty expensive for this little tiny thing i got it in the lightest shade but you don't need much of it which is nice you just need like a really thin layer so i think this will last me like a long 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 time i've heard like it transforms people's skin and does miracles for people's confidence so anyways long story short i'm just really excited to try this but yeah so that is all that I ordered. It's something dramatic, like I said, but I still wanted to give you guys a little bit of a haul. And I will let you guys know how this goes for me. But I think it's going to be amazing. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I just realized that I ordered one more thing, but it's not in here. So I'm going to double check that that's still coming. So I'll show you guys when it comes. But i just remembered like the main part of this order is not even here okay here's a quick costco grocery haul so i got raspberries and blackberries and i got maple syrup as always i got a box of smart sweets because they have the best prices at costco to get this box it's like a lot cheaper i got a pack of tomato paste because we didn't have any at home i got two loaves of sourdough bread cheese bagels i got cinnamon because we didn't have any so i'm really excited to have cinnamon now i got bananas these are obviously not ripe at all but i'm just gonna let them sit um i got this organic spring salad mix for just like having a salad with dinner and then i got this pack of jalapeno lime aioli for dipping sauce or whatever these are so freaking good and then i got blueberry bagels and this has become my favorite brand of oat milk and it's pretty cheap it's like six for like nine dollars and they only sell this at costco so good i'm obsessed and i got two <laughs> Drop the gallery open to 10 for you and your friends you know how i spend in h-o-u-s-t-o-n i get too crazy had a little bad enough we stay good friends we get too wavy all i know is that when this cup ends the next one begins my babe you know me and you know me back then and you know how it goes when i see you again you know i'm making my way to your ends and you know i need you to be there for me you a little post so baby you a little 48 baby got a little candy in a pocket she gonna take off like a you already Okay, I just got dressed into my yoga attire. So it is sunny, it is a little chilly, so that's why I put on like a long sleeve workout set. But I'm just going to go out on the deck. I just clipped my hair back because it's kind of windy. 
and we're just gonna go do some yoga because i haven't done yoga in so long it's been too long and i just really want to get back into it because honestly doing yoga it just feels so good like it just honestly connects like my body and my mind and my soul and i know it sounds like cheesy but i swear yoga it just hits different and it's also really good for like your agility um your flexibility it's good for everything so so i'm gonna go on the deck and follow a yoga video um and then after that we're gonna do a meditation and yeah those two things i really need to start doing them on a daily basis this is the beginning of getting back into that routine because i really need to and it just makes me feel so healthy in every single way so if you've never tried doing meditation or yoga before i would highly suggest it <laughs> talk about meditation because i haven't talked about it in a while and every time i do meditation i just forget how good it is like if i ever get out of it and then i come back into it i'm like holy shit meditation is so good and i know it sounds like all woohoo if you've never tried it before and you just have been hearing like oh my god do meditation and i understand how it can sound like really cliche and just like really hippie and whatever but let me tell you meditation is like the best tool for just being present and calm in the moment if you are the type of person that has thoughts running through their head like 24 7 and it's really hard for you to stop those thoughts and you're getting like really intrusive thoughts all the time meditation like i would really suggest doing meditation because it's kind of something that you have to learn the first time that you do meditation you're gonna not be good at it like you're so okay first let me explain what meditation is it's just sitting in the present moment and that's it every time you have a thought that comes to your head you just kind of accept it and then release it and you just try to clear your mind so that you don't need to worry about what is happening like meditation is honestly an escape from the world because when you're in the state of meditation you're not thinking about anything you're not thinking about what you're having for dinner that night you don't think about going to work tomorrow so it is kind of an escape and it's also a great tool to train your mind to stop thinking if your brain is going crazy and thinking all these random thoughts that you don't want to be thinking you can kind of jump yourself in and switch that switch on in your brain that's like okay i'm gonna just like switch on to my meditative state right now and just like release my thoughts and just like be present in the moment don't need to stress it's honestly just such a great tool once you learn how to do it and once you do it a few times and really get into it because like i said like it's something that you really need to learn in order to be good at it and really like alleviate those thoughts once you get past the point of like your first second third meditation where it's just gonna be like really hard trust me you will love it like once i get into a state of meditation where i'm just not thinking anything it's the best feeling in the world and it makes you feel so calm so present and every single time after i meditate i'm so so happy like i just have this feelings of joy in our day-to-day -day lives i just feel like incorporating meditation is so important because the world is go 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 like we're always go 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 we're working we're i don't know if you're in school you're doing school worrying about that you're just oh we're always like thinking about the next thing we're always thinking about the future and preparing for the future whether it's oh my god what am i gonna have for dinner today or that's just like little things like that we're always thinking about the future and that's why i love meditation so much because it just like brings you back into the present and brings you into a state of mindfulness and also it helps you really recognize what kind of thoughts you're having because once you are conscious and you sit down with your thoughts you can really reflect on them and let them go instead of dwelling in them all day yeah i mean i can go on and on and on about the benefits of it but if you've never tried it i would really suggest trying it and it's something that you might dread because i used to dread it sometimes but just start with a five minute meditation and move your way up from there um usually i just do 10 minutes because it's just like the perfect time for me sometimes when i'm in the mood i'll do like a 20 minute meditation and it just feels so good and meditation has just really helped me on my spiritual journey like just feeling that connection to the universe and 
trusting in it. Yeah, that's my little spiel on meditation that I just wanted to tell you guys right now because I'm very passionate about it and I just feel like it can help a lot of people in their day-to-day -day stressful lives because life can get really stressful sometimes, so. So basically, I'm going to just cut my veggies for the week. So I'm going to cut up like carrots, I got cucumbers, and then peppers, and then broccoli. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and pre-portion it and then put it in containers and then put it in the fridge so that whenever I'm feeling like a snack um, throughout the week, I can just literally grab a vegetable pack and have it with ranch. And then it's a healthy pre-made snack so that I'm not fishing for like anything unhealthy. And it's just like a really easy way to eat healthy when you prepare things in advance. So I'm excited about getting into my little routine of doing it. I'm also really freaking excited of trying these rainbow carrots. Like I'm just like so intrigued by them. Anyways, let's do this. Here are the vegetable containers. We got lots. And then I also just chopped up um, the whole celery bunch and put it in here so that we could just have it with this because they were going to be too big to fit in there. Um, so yeah, this is my little veggie prep for the week. And I'm actually so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, watching me get back into a little routine. I hope that you enjoyed it. And please leave any video requests that you guys have down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. What a little baby, she be going crazy. She ride me like my sadies, snowing like the eighties. She just wanna taste me. She gon' back that thing up, and then she gon' face me. She say she ain't like these other bitches, they so basic. She say put a lamb on, she just wanna ride me. I say go you crazy, this money all I'm chasing.